Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and check out their websites for all things FGC. My earliest memory is of a Mishima Zaibatsu laboratory. Steve is the quintessential counter hit based character of Tekken 7. He has access to an amazing plethora of counter hit tools. Steve also boasts good combo damage, good wall carry, and one of the best wall combos in the game with the Masaji Wall Ender. Uh, by the wall, Steve is also very threatening due to his amazing QCF1 wall splat. This is also safe on block. His down back 3 2, which nets a good reward by the wall. And just generally good wall pressure in moves such as while running one, um, general just good wall pressure. Uh, he also has access to a sway throw that is plus 10 at least, giving him a guaranteed 1-1-2 one, one, or when done from an angle of 90 degrees or greater, actually gives Steve a wall splat. Um, Steve's game plan generally revolves around catching the opponent's timing. And when doing so, netting huge reward from any of his amazing counter moves. Boom! Being a boxer, Steve lacks access to generic kicks. In place of these, Steve has uh, unique and evasive maneuvers such as Weave, Duck, Sway, Albatross, and furthermore, Steve also has access to two unique stances in Peekaboo and Flicker. So the evasive maneuvers, they're not really stances as such, but uh, they help keep uh, Steve's offense as well as his uh, defense uh, varied and unpredictable. Um, and many of his moves can cancel into these different evasive maneuvers, such as cancelling into duck, cancelling into sway, cancelling into left weave, cancelling into right weave, and cancelling into Albatross. Furthermore, uh, Steve can actually cancel into his two stances, Peekaboo and Flicker. Um, so Peekaboo is Steve's offensive stance. It's got great aggression, pressure, the ability to th close the gap between you and the opponent. Uh, it contains frustrating lows, uh, jailing, delayable strings, uh, good mids, and even a launcher, uh, if you so happen to launch it, uh, land it, sorry. Uh, Flicker is Steve's defensive stance. It's got great safety, uh, great space control, um, great keep out. And Steve can cancel into Flicker from many of his key moves, and in doing so, uh, Steve uh, is quite safe both on block and on width. Uh, so if we take back one for an example, as you can see, when Steve does not cancel into Flicker, it's minus 14. Same with QCF1, when not cancelled into Flicker, it's minus 10. However, when Steve cancels into Flicker, uh, this is done by holding back, uh, the recovery goes down drastically from minus 14 to only minus 1. Uh, Cancelling into Flicker generally allows Steve to remain very very safe both on block and on whiff, and if Steve chooses to cancel into Peekaboo, he can keep the offense up by keeping the opponent guessing between high, lows, highs, mids, etc etc. Uh, this uh, aspect of Steve, where he's able to cancel into um, his different evasive maneuvers from many of his strings, uh, really gives him an element of pressure that's quite different from most characters. Um, but once you get used to it, it's really strong and easy to implement and can frustrate the character. And as we know with Steve's uh, amazing counter hit toolkit, a frustrated opponent is liable to eat an amazing and powerful counter hit which will net you huge reward. Become Dash Fight's supporter on Patreon. Get early access to Dash Fight guides. Click the link in the description.
Okay, so we've had a look at Steve's uh, stances, his p offensive stance uh, peekaboo, which can be accessed by pressing forward 3 plus 4, flicker, which can be accessed by pressing back 3 plus 4, but now let's talk about his evasive maneuvers. So left weave and right weave are generally very evasive and allow Steve to get around moves that other characters wouldn't be able to. Uh, situations such as this one where Law does uh, forward 1 plus 2 into while standing 4, uh, in this situation, most characters wouldn't be able to escape while standing four, as it leaves us crouching, and to avoid while standing four, we must sidestep right, which we can't do on player one from crouching. However, right we can be done from crouching, allowing Steve to get around this move that other characters wouldn't be able to in this situation. Um, Steve also can access his weaves from sidestep, allowing him to cover a huge distance um, and Steve can also um, use ducking to avoid highs and close the distance between himself and the opponent, sways to further avoid highs, uh, albatross to control space from the mid screen and um, yes yeah, he generally has a lot of really good tools from his weaves uh, the ability to uh, whiff confirm whiffs and punch the opponent for them and also just in general to keep himself unpredictable on both defense and on offense uh, making the opponent second guess themselves and hopefully fall into one of Steve's many amazing counties. Okay let's have a look at some of Steve's best moves. Uh, let's start off with the infamous back run. This is, this is very fast coming out at I-13 uh, gives a huge combo on counter hit, uh, has great range, great tracking, and can be cancelled into flicker making it very safe on block and on whiff uh, at minus one on block, and it's very difficult to punish on whiff if, um, if cancelled into flicker. Uh, this is great keep out, you can throw this out pretty much whenever you feel like the opponent might be pressing or might even be breathing in your direction and even if it's blocked you can still keep the pressure up uh, with Steve's flicker cancels and flicker pressure. Uh, to complement this Steve has access to down forward 2. This is a great fast mid counter hit launcher. The combo is quite finicky um, so you don't always get the best reward from this move but you do always get a decent uh, chunk of damage with a guaranteed follow-up of around 37 and if your uh, execution is good enough you can get a little bit more with around about 70 damage with the wall give or take uh, Steve uh, also has one of the best uh, while standing punishes at I-11 with while standing 1-2 uh, this is great um, this is great as a, an, an 11 frame while standing punish while standing one by itself is a great mid check, being only minus three with follow ups and a, a delayable mid that on counter hit actually gives three follow ups as well. Um, one, two, one. This is a an NCC, uh, meaning natural counter hit combo. Um, so if you were to land a counter hit, um, all these three would be guaranteed. This is very fast at I 10. Uh, covers a lot of uh, space, has good tracking again, good range, great offensive, defensive utility, can be cancelled into peekaboo for continued pressure, or flicker to be made safer, uh, and you've got tons of options after, you have mids, rows, uh, cancel into uh, duck, etc uh, etc, et lots of ways to keep your pressure and your timing unpredictable. Uh, Steve also has QCF1 which is great for mid-range space control. This is again very safe on block when cancelled into flicker at minus 3. Wall splats from uh, so far away um, gives great damage when, when near the wall. Very threatening, just very great uh, hitbox as well. Uh, Sonic Fang, Steve's best uh, punisher I would say. Uh, huge range, very, very reliable. Can be hit after certain moves as well, such as this one. Um, all around great uh, whiff punisher. Um, as you can see, it, it's, it'll hit things that um, other opponent. It'll be able to punish things that other opponents might not be able to, and it's just a great move all around. 
And apart from that, a uh, special mention should be given to some of Steve's lows. I know Steve doesn't have the best power lows, but Pab Down 1 in particular is great for pressure. Uh, the reward isn't the highest, but the risk is very low, uh, being only minus 12. Um, and allows Steve to keep up a semblance of pressure, although he doesn't have the best low. Um, but more on that later. And finally, Flicker 2, which uh, is another great uh, counter hit launcher. Uh, this was buffed in, uh, I believe it was Season 3, um, giving Steve a launcher now on counter hit uh, with great damage, great wall carry, and as we know, when Steve has you by the wall, he sets himself up to win the rest of the round pretty much. So, Steve is one of those characters with a myriad of great uh, great buttons, great tools, even just his 1Q, down forward 1 into like back dash, all these are really great, um, but it's, it's, it's knowing how to apply the different moves Steve has. When a character generally has lots of great tools, it can be kind of difficult to know how to apply them, when to apply them. Uh, when do you use uh, Pab Forward 2 for space control or the QCF1? Uh, things of that nature, um, but just generally because all of Steve's moves are quite effective and efficient, uh, you can't really go wrong with using any of them. Uh, what separates intermediate Steve players from very advanced ones is just generally uh, knowing how and when to apply his moves and mixing that in with his movement, evasive maneuvers, great tracking and just general all around great small Tekken uh, because Steve's small Tekken moves, his pokes, his counter hits, these are all really great, uh, low reward, uh, you have the ability to just chip down the opponent endlessly until they get frustrated and you can land a huge counter hit. Okay let's have a look at some of Steve's combos. So I want to start off with one of Steve's trickier combos, the combo from his counter hit launch on the down forward 2. Now, I know for a lot of you newer players, uh, and even some intermediate uh, to advanced players, this combo can be quite tricky and execution uh, heavy. Um, there's a lot of moving parts, so let's break it down. The way I like to do this combo is when I've hit the down forward 2, I do down forward 2, cancel into duck, and then that duck, I cancel it into crouch. Um, this allows me to confirm whether I've done the combo either on um, counter hit or if it was a normal hit. If I confirm that I hit a counter hit from duck, uh, from crouch, sorry, I do another duck and then I let rip the two hits of the massage wall combo. Um, from here, an instant while standing one is required. Now, looking at my command history, you can see I didn't just enter crouch and do while standing one. The way there's many different ways people like to do this but the way in which i like to do this is by entering flicker with back three plus four and then from flicker cancelling into duck um, and then letting the wall standing one rip and i found an easy way for me to do this is by doing back three plus four to enter flicker then qcb one to instantly enter that crouching state and get that wall standing one if you're struggling with this part of the uh, combo i would recommend just doing this and making sure you, you've got this down fluidly so that when it comes time to hit and get in a normal match you have it ready to go Steve's combos generally follow the same structure in which you land the launcher and then follow it up with duck one or an extended duck one, such as a back one, duck forward two, pap two, flicker two, some of Steve's combos require different fillers, such as in Pab Up Forward 2, Duck 2, Back 2, Duck 1, Raise Drive. Steve Rage Drive provides further utility by allowing him to launch off of moves that give this crumple stun, 
such as his power crush from Flicker. One thing to note is that this wall combo is worth learning. It's one of the best wall combos in the game. Uh, it has amazing damage and it's only a game of re splats. Uh, and I promise it's not a speed based thing, it's a timing based wall uh, combo. So, really spend some time to make sure you're learning this wall combo. If you do struggle with this wall combo, an easier wall combo that's uh, almost as good is this one. Okay, let's look at some of Steve's weaknesses. So, perhaps the biggest weakness of Steve is his poor punishment game. Uh, he doesn't get a launch until I-17, uh, whereas many other members of the cast will launch at I-15. Uh, so certain moves that other characters will be able to launch, Steve only gets guaranteed damage. Uh, his punishment in general tends to have low range. Some of his punishment is okay, such as Sonic Fang, his wild standing 1-2, but particularly what, what he struggles with is launch punishing Wiss. Uh, often he just gets about a Sonic Fang. It's going to be difficult for him to actually launch punish most whips. Um, and also his wall standing punishment is quite poor. Uh, he has the wall standing run too, but this is uh, I-11. And where many other characters will be able to get a wall standing launch, Steve doesn't get one until I-18, which is very, very slow. Uh, often Steve can only launch punish stagger lows. Um, so this move, for example, this is minus 17, and many other members of the cast can launch this apart from Steve. Uh, so that's a bit of a, a that's a big weakness for Steve. So furthermore, Steve also lacks good power lows. Uh, most of his lows are either quite punishable, um, risky, uh, poor range. Uh, seeable um, or just generally uh, not very rewarding um, he does have some good laws to chip the opponent away and keep him um, uh, keep him sort of guessing threatening them harassing them but Steve doesn't really have that strong power law to really threaten you and make you duck apart from when he's at the wall uh, then he has his amazing uh, mix-up between QCF1 and down back 3-2 but out in the open Steve sort of lacks good laws um, and Steve also has high hitboxes, meaning that he can struggle with the basic characters such as Zafina and Link. Furthermore, because Steve is a boxer and many of his uh, tools are all punches, uh, he is very susceptible to being punch parried. Um, and many higher level players will use this to their advantage, constantly throwing out punch parries, knowing that Steve doesn't really have the best options to deal with them. Uh, Steve does have options to deal with this, mainly in his up forward one, which cannot be punch parried, and his pad down forward two, which is an elbow. Uh, so these two tools can keep the opponent uh, honest in dealing with Steve, but just in general, be wary of punch parries as Steve is particularly susceptible to them. Okay, so let's touch upon some of Steve's strengths. Now, Steve has the best collection of counter hit tools in the game, um, and as touched upon uh, previously, Steve also boasts great low carry, great combo damage, one of the best ways in the game. Uh, he's very threatening by the wall uh, with his QCF1, his down back 3-2. Uh, Steve is also quite safe both on block and on whiff due to his ability to cancel into flicker. Uh, this means Steve can keep the pressure uh, both on hit and on block. Uh, Steve has a great um, mix-up from his extended duck. Extended duck forward to giving um, guaranteed follow-ups on the block. Uh, extended duck one giving a launcher uh, on hit. And generally, uh, the, the use of duck uh, his evasive maneuvers and his stances and being able to cancel into them both from moves on hit as well as block uh, makes Steve difficult, uh, unpredictable both on uh, defense and on offense and just in general uh, difficult to pin down. It's, his timing he can vary up quite well uh, based on how he links in his use of evasive maneuvers uh, and his string and stance cancels. Steve also has great tracking both to, uh, to both sides, 
Uh, so it's quite rare that you uh, be sidestepping Steve. Um, and also, Steve uh, in Rage has one of the best Rage drives and Rage arts in the game. In terms of Rage, Steve has one of the best Rage drives in the game with his Sonic Fang Rage drive. Uh, this comes out at I-14, meaning it covers some of Steve's biggest weaknesses, mainly his ability to make comebacks, uh, as well as his poor punishment, as now Steve has access to an I-14 launcher. Uh, this Sonic Fang Rage Drive does a ton of damage, has great uh, utility, allows Steve to get a combo where he otherwise wouldn't, and overall is just a great tool, it covers a huge amount of space, it's uh, safe um, on block, and gives allows Steve to carry on the pressure, uh, both on block and on, on, even on whiff, it's very difficult to uh, to whiff punish. Uh, furthermore, in Rage, Steve has access to one of the quickest Rage Arts in the game, coming out at I-13. This means that uh, Steve can punish heavily moves which are minus 13, again covering one of his main weaknesses of uh, having poor punishment and overall poor comeback. Uh, although be wary, this is a high, meaning uh, if the opponent doesn't move, which naturally leaves them in crouch, uh, this won't hit. You can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like or comment down below with your thoughts. Thanks for watching and have a great day. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>